Hello every pony and brony and welcome to M-I-L-F-I-N, The Wolf Review. My name is Rose and tonight we are going to introduce you to the host of this show, my animated brother Timberwolf. Hey all you ponies and bronies, how's it going? Okay Timber, let's let them get to know you better. You have met a U.S. president, you have been a fireman and you are a Gulf War vet. Is that true? Oh man, I'm really going to be telling my age here. Um, the uh, president that I met, I met when I was only six years old, and uh, that was uh, Richard M. Nixon. And how did you meet him? Uh, this was back probably uh, 1966, 67, during his uh, campaign trail uh, to become president of the United States. And he was um, campaigning in my hometown of uh, Homestead, Pennsylvania. And uh, I was standing in a small alleyway which led back to my house. And uh, he came walking down the street and he stopped and said uh, in his regular gruff voice, um, Hello, little boy, what's your name? And uh, I turned around and told him my name. And uh, then he asked me, he goes, Do you know who I am? And uh, I said, No, sir, I don't know who you are. And he goes, well, my name's Richard Nixon. I'm going to be the next president of the United States. Now, back then, I was only like six years old, so I didn't know or even cared what a president really was. So I just sat there and looked at him and said, okay. And then uh, he shook my hand, patted me on the head, and told me to have a nice day and to tell my mommy and daddy to vote for him uh, come election time. Well, that was a long time ago. How old are you? <laughs> Old enough to know better, but I don't. <laughs> Come on, tell us. Okay, I'll tell you. I'm 364 years old in dog years. I'll let everybody else figure that one out. Okay, okay. Now I hear that you were a fireman. Where was this at? Uh, yes, I was. Um, I was a junior volunteer firefighter for the uh, town of Venango, Pennsylvania. So you got to put out a lot of house fires. Not really. Um, the only fires that uh, we were allowed to uh, fight were uh, grass fires. Oh, I see. Now I also see that you were a war vet. What branch of the service were you in? Uh, yes, I was. Uh, I was deployed during uh, Operation Desert Storm, Desert Shield. I was in the regular army with the uh, 501st Signal Battalion, 101st Airborne Division, Air Assault. Did you see any combat action? Uh, no, I didn't. I was in a communications uh, unit. Okay, now let me ask you this. When did you start liking MLP? I started uh, liking MLP about uh, roughly about two years ago. I was on uh, YouTube and uh, I was searching for animation and I came across uh, a blind commentary MLP FIN. And um, I wondered what uh, it really meant. So I clicked on it and sure enough, it was a My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Uh, animation that was that had like a blind commentary to it now i've watched the uh generation one uh my little ponies but uh the my little ponies that they have uh, the friendship of magic is a lot better than uh the first generation what is your impression of the ponies <laughs> i did mean the type of impression <laughs> Oh, don't worry, I know what you meant. I think uh, the difference between the My Little Pony Friendship of Magic and the uh, My Little Pony series is the uh, layout and the design. I mean, the way they've drawn the uh, ponies and the uh, uh, landscaping and everything in general has just gotten better. What do you think of the show's plot lines? Yeah, I think they drew the plot lines on the ponies pretty well, too. That's if you're into looking at their rear ends and stuff. <laughs> Not that kind of plot line. I meant the storyline type. <laughs> oh, okay, you meant the storyline type. Uh, next time, be more specific, okay? <laughs> Uh, yeah, the storylines have gotten a heck of a lot better, and uh, that's that's one of the other things that uh, mainly hold my interest to the show. Now you have been here joking around a little. Have you ever done comedy on stage? 
Well, I did stand up once at a local coffee shop uh, here in Meadville, Pennsylvania. But um, they wouldn't let me do my routines the way I wanted to because a, a lot of my routines had swear words to them and they turned around and told me uh, you couldn't you know, curse and swear in your comedy. And uh, needless to say, uh, my routine kind of bombed. I also know that you like to sing and do funny songs. Is that true? Uh, yeah, I like to take music that other people have done and just rewrite them into funnier songs. As a matter of fact, I think I've rewritten a couple of songs about My Little Pony as well. Oh, is it possible for you to sing us one now? <laughs> oh, gee, I, I don't know. Oh, come on. Do you all think he should do it? All right, you all twisted my arm. It's going to be kind of hard to do without the music to back me up with. I'm going to do a country song that was done by uh, Toby Keith and Scott Emery about Willie Nelson, and I converted it over to a uh, My Little Pony type of uh, song. And uh, it goes uh, something like this. Now I always heard that herbs first top shelf. Celestia knows I just had to find out for myself. Don't knock it until you tried it, I've tried it, my friends. And I'll never smoke weed with twilight again. Now I learned a hard lesson in a small question town. She fired up a bong and she passed it around. The last words I spoke before I passed out. I made Spike bungee jump, but I'll never smoke weed with twilight again. No, I'll never smoke weed with twilight again. My part is all over before it begins. You can pour me some big bags, hard cider, my friends. But I'll never smoke weed with twilight again. Now we're passing the guitar, telling dirty jokes. I can tell one's coming, cause I'm smelling smoke. I do not partake, I just pass it to Pinkie Pie. With a grin on my face, and a great contact high. No, I'll never smoke weed with Twilight again. My party's all over before it begins. You can pour me some Big Mac's hard cider, my friends. But I'll never smoke weed with Twilight again. In the fetal position, with drool on my chin I fucked up and smoked weed with Twilight again Well that's all we have time for let us know what you think Timber will be starting with season 5 coming soon